Howdy, 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 dorks. How's it going? It's Unchowder. It's stream day. Hello. Uh, so I have been absent a little bit recently, but I'm back. Uh, we're back to your regu regularly scheduled Unchowder. Hooray. Uh, yeah, hi. Well, and thanks for the resub. I see that. Thank you for the resub. That is amazing. Thank you. Um, like five months. It's already been five months since I've been able to have subscriptions. That is wild to me. <laughs> the fact that the fact that anyone could be subscribed to me for five months does not feel real. So, thank you. Also, the cat is right here. I was wondering what happened on Saturday when I checked the announcements. Happy had a good weekend. Oh, that's fair. Uh, also, hi. Um, yeah, sorry. It was it skipped my mind like the last time I was streaming that we were gonna have family in town for the weekend, and that that meant that I wasn't gonna stream. Oh, hey, thanks for the gifted sub. Holy cow! Thank you, thank you. Nine subs, what the hell? What the hell, man? But thank you. <laughs> for, for real, thank you. Um, yeah, hi. Um, it's Monday. Right? It's Monday. Missed a few streams, but happy to be able to catch you again. Perfect, yeah, thanks. I've had a couple days off um, in the last week or so, so you probably haven't missed too much. Uh, we are on stream number two of this fortress. Uh, and I'm gonna have to kind of reacquaint myself with what's going on here. So let me let me launch the game real quick. I'm running a little slow today, so, you know, we'll see how this goes. There might be some pausing in our future. Uh, let's see, so now, yeah, treasure rack. Um, but yeah, uh, today's stream, so hopefully, maybe my thing is connected now. Today's stream is brought to you by... No? Oh, did I, oh, did I do this wrong? There we go, ha ha ha. Today's brought to you by a snow-covered forest. Uh, we don't really get those around here, but I do love them. They are, oh, snowy forests are amazing, right? We, uh, Colorado was really good for them, but, uh, over here on the coast? Not so much. Snow doesn't really stick around long enough to uh, to make a beautiful scene like that. But, uh, you know, in lieu of that, we also have you pushing those buttons, subscribing, gifting subs, doing all that good stuff. That's what's keeping us uh, warm through the winter. Uh, that's what keeps the forest pretty. I don't know. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's That's what's keeping me going right now. And I appreciate it. Um, other than that, let's, let's get into it. Uh, let's see if this works. Huh? Is it gonna actually work? It seems like it actually works. If you see the screen pause for a while, and I'm talking like it's not paused, please tell me. Because Obius has, has gotten me a couple times <laughs> with that. Me not knowing things have been paused. Uh, but yeah, here we are. We're, we're in the Fortress of Treasure Rack. Uh, we have 24 people. We are in the spring of 175, so we have just completed one year. We are one year into this fortress, and look, we have working waterfalls, right? Uh, we have, yeah, we have this all going. What are you doing? I've been well. You're making a clay statue. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, because there's like colonite in here and everything. Uh, we can, we should even set up, um, oh, that's going to get clogged real quick. Uh, we should set up some stockpiles for all of our stones and junk. Um, so our kilns are over here, so I'm gonna say uh, our, our clay stones uh, go over, maybe over here. We can do that. And this will be for stones, and this will be for an other stone. Yeah, no, a clay stone. Or not, or is it an economic stone? right there it's an economic stone i knew it wasn't a metal ore so you know <laughs> uh so this is koalanite yeah, uh, we'll do that and then i think we need some wheelbarrows uh but i also want to get some stockpiles going for uh like fuel stone and ore and such uh, so we'll say this is fuel and this will accept Bitch, Miss Cole, and Lignite. 
Hi, cat. You're you're totally in the way and adorable, and I love you. Um, this would be for uh, like iron ore, right? Doesn't that make sense? Uh, so stone, metal ores. This will be for limonite, magnetite, and hematite. Right? Malachite is different, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, this will be for iron ore. Um, and then I want another one for... Uh, we're gonna want flux stone, right? Uh, let's do something like this. This will be our flux. So we, what do we have here? We have a bunch of chalk, right? I want to say. Uh, collapse all. One of my favorite new buttons. We have limestone. We have so much limestone. Holy cow. This limestone is a flux stone. We already have 40 colonite. Very nice. And a bunch of magnetite. Perfect. And some platinum. Oh yeah, platinum's the other one we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, so then so in here we're gonna put stones, economic, limestone. I mean we could even say chalk and marble can show up there if if we have any, but I don't think we I don't know if we're gonna find all those things. Anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna say Let's do like this for gold. Gold nuggets. And then we'll make another one. And this will be for platinum. Platinum. There. Um, and I'm also going to give this stockpile just a little bit of breathing room because it's going to get all gridlocked before they get some bins in there. Because that's how they do. Uh, okay, so coal, iron ore, flux. Uh, this one is for... What did I say this one was? This is gold. This is platinum. In theory, we also have work orders going for those things. Uh, we have a smelt of gold and smelt platinum. Perfect. We have cut gems. We're making bone crafts, right? Do we have a bone stockpile? We don't! We should have a bone stockpile. Um, that can go down here, because they're going to get used here. Uh, so I'll just make it here. And this can be a little bit bigger. This will be for bones and shells. Because uh, that's the same kind of thing. We'll say bones all, shells all, skulls all. Nothing, nothing else. And then we will remove that from this stockpile. So no bones, no skulls, no shells. And no... I guess we're also doing wool, aren't we? So we don't want to have alpaca wool. Or llama wool. Or sheep wool. In here. Uh, and then those can go down in here. Uh, we'll have those. That'll be, a, that'll be its own thing. Um, yeah. Put that, like, here. Uh, wool, I guess wool. Not technically wool, it's like... What do they call it? Um, so we'll do an alpaca. Llama. And sheep. Right? Because in theory we have we have some sheep, we mostly have sheep. We have an elephant. I totally forgot about our elephant. I forgot about the elephant. Uh, so we're milking and we're shearing. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of you wool in here. Um, so we're also gonna need uh, we don't mention the elephant. I want to I mean we can it's a it's a tame elephant, right? It's a domesticated elephant. Or is it not? We have giant white storks. Why doesn't it show up here? Is it a citizen? No. That's strange, right? Stray elephant. Tame.
Oh, because I have to scroll. Duh. Um, but here, yeah. Uh, how about a war elephant? Let's have a war elephant. Um, and then yeah, we have we have an angry person. Oh, our militia commander. Yeah, I guess you're kind of grumpy. That's fair. We're gonna want to start getting our our militia up, right? Um, but we got some bins, right? Hopefully, some of these are empty and are gonna get used for things. People are still in that phase of of moving everything around. Dwarves are always angry. They're they're a little grumpy. I mean, we have our waterfalls going, so I think they're gonna start getting less grumpy. Oh, and we're smoothing out aquifer stuff here, so hopefully we have less water flowing everywhere in the places we don't want them. Uh, but the thought I was having was, are we spinning our wool into thread? We're shearing. I don't think we're spinning. I think we want to spin so that we actually have thread on hand. And that will be done. Jeez, we, we built a little deep this time, didn't we? Uh, these are all jewelers. These are all that thing. Yeah, and then for loom, clother, wood furnace. Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say spin red. Is that the right? Is that the right one? Is it? I, this one always trips me up. We've we've thread into cloth, right? Is there a middle step that I'm forgetting about? We're shearing. Uh, we've because shearing doesn't give thread. But what else? I mean, where else would it be? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google that real quick because I'm I'm gonna screw myself over if I don't. I think oh, my brain is just not quite on top of it right now. So wool is produced after shearing. Um, wool can be spun into yarn threads, which can be woven into cloth at a loom. So where do we? Spin. That's probably done at a at a kitchen or a. Is that what they're called? Um. Farmer shop. I bet you it's this. It's gonna be spin thread. Okay, so we want a farmer shop up here. Let's do workshop. Farming. Farmer. I'm gonna plop down two of those for no real reason. And then we want a spin thread. And that's just gonna be two at a time. And we want to keep We want to keep up with our wool, right? We want to have a little bit of wool on hand because they because maybe strange moods um so yeah we'll do this we'll say we'll keep 15 parts on hand but if we have more than that we spin we spin the rest of it into thread and then that thread gets uh made into no is it no uh, wool no Was it? Weave yarn into cloth. And we'll do that two at a time. And that's going to be as long as we have unused thread of like 50. So we want to keep thread on hand for like the, the hospital and strange moods and all that kind of stuff. Or maybe, let's say like 25. Is 
and we're, we're smelting iron. Uh, we're making iron bolts. Are we, have we actually successfully made iron? That's a, that's a good question. We have, holy cow. So we should start making uh, our, um, our whatchamacallits, our, our steel. We should also be, do I have, do I have instrument things in here? I, I don't, do I? We're just now making, we're just now smelting. So we haven't smelted any platinum yet, um, but I'm even, I'm just going to even go ahead and put it in here. We're making neeners? No. Are we not? What is... This is all different. This is all by... Oh, interesting. When did this change? Huh, all tasks. Interesting. Okay. Do we not have... Neener? We're this we're the same civilization, right? Did I did I screw that up again? Where are we? We are We're up here. Corridors of oil. I didn't get the right civ again. Okay, well that's only twice I've done that. That's fine. Okay, well that means that we have different instruments. What instruments do we have as this dwarven civ? That's now a question. Um, well, let's look at the ones the forge, because those are the ones we really care about. Uh, we can add... Make instrument piece. So there's no there's no full instruments in here for the forge. Um, <laughs> there's a... Desis Elol Etes Evid. So body is a good one to be looking at, because we want to be making the primary component out of... Uh, out of platinum. That's going to be the main thing that we're, we're doing here. Um... So what is what is an evid? An evid only has two things. Okay, so we could make uh, platinum, and these both need to be made out of metal. So we could do gold strings and platinum body, and assemble, and then I think we'd be good, right? Let's try that. Evid strings, and then assemble evid. Whatever that is. It's a, I mean, a stringed instrument of some kind. Uh, these are all going to be one at a time. The body will be platinum, which I it is not up here because we don't have any yet. Platinum. The strings will be out of gold. And we will make avid bodies as long as we have a platinum bar, and we'll have like five bodies on hand at a time. And then same thing here. One gold bar and five strings. And then we'll assemble as long as we have one of each of the pieces. Cool. Go, be free. I think that'll, that'll keep them busy for a second, right? I think everyone probably has a job at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have that many people yet. Um, but we're, I mean, we're cutting gems, we're building forges. Uh, this is all, this is all good stuff, right? Um, milk canceled, that's fine. Animal has become a stray war elephant. That's a good, that's a good phrase. We have we have our dining hall here, right? Oh, and we have space for more uh, more food shops. I think we need nest boxes, right? We need to be placing our nest boxes. Maybe that goes like back here or something. Maybe we maybe we do like one of these. And that'll we'll need to fix that, of course. Hi, cat. Uh, and we're gonna have to make a courtyard, and we're gonna have to make power. Those are two things that are gonna happen. Um, so we're gonna put a bunch of millstones in here as well. Oh, now it's summer. Oh, that was quick. Uh, 
Um, I think I think we'll wait for one more migrant wave before we start on our our courtyard. So I want to get a couple more people in here. I mean, we're still. I mean, this population is still so low. We've had one of our. We've had our two hard coded migrant waves, plus one, and we're still only at twenty four. I think that's like the the main determining factor of how quickly we're gonna go, right? So, hooray, hooray us! Uh, how was everyone else's weekend? Anyone else? Anyone do anything fun? Lay down. Lay down, please. I want to see my screen. The workshops, farming, nest boxes. Just do we'll just do like this. Cool. Had an intense college deadline to work towards this weekend as well as a freelance photo shoot. Sounds busy. College deadlines are always fun. I'm glad to have that behind me. I also I was not able to do like college and like side gig at the same time was not a thing I was capable of. <laughs> so good on you for that. Did this get over it linked? It looks like it. Not bad, my fiance has a bad chest infection. Oh no, so not too good either. Didn't do too much, but that's okay. Did a bit of gathering, prepping for winter. Yeah, that's fair. Chest infection doesn't sound fun. Probably want bedrooms. Are 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 the miners doing stuff? The no, they are they are not. Store yeah okay. Oh, let's go back into here. Yeah, you are locked to doing that stuff. Jezebel, please. Do you want to go to your place? On the first year of my art degree, off the back of finished off the back of finished my foundation year in May. Oh, that's fair. Art degree sounds fun. Yeah, yes. Go on. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Decided to respec in my late 20s. That's fair. I mean, it took me all through college to figure out what I wanted my degree to be, and then I ended up not really using it for anything, so... You know. Um, oh, I wanted to check on our, our waterfall stuff, right? Uh, this is all awkward for stuff from above that's overflowing, but that's fine. Maybe we want... Maybe I want, like, a door in here or something, but I also don't want this to flood. No, I think... I think a door. I think a door. I think we'll do that. So we don't have too much water on the slope itself. I think that was causing some issues in our last fortress, but mostly this is dry, right? This all seems fine. We're getting waterfalls, and it's draining into the caves, and we're all secure, and there's not even anyone trapped in here or anything. So I think I think that's all good. Uh, what degree did I do? I was a English major. You can tell because my words are always so good. Um, oh, but we're we're digging, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, we even have a bunch of bedrooms. Perfect. Perfect. And we were, yeah, we're digging a bunch of, look at all this magnetite. Holy cow. And then here's a bunch of platinum. Neat. <laughs> That's the goodest words. You do those words good. Yep. I'm glad everyone uh, is picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, I'm, we're going to auto mine. And what's all this? Saltpeter? Okay. Uh, yeah, platinum. Platinum. And there's all these gems. Uh, we don't really need the limonite. We'll probably end up digging some limonite just to make sure there's nothing hiding in there for us. Um, but look at all these gems. All these gems. Holy cow. 
A human caravan has arrived. Very good. And then this is all this is all magnetite as well. Yeah, so they're just gonna keep I'm gonna keep going, aren't they? We'll we'll rebuild some bedrooms into this. No, that was tetrahedra, wasn't it? I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Just the magnetite. This is all... It's all magnetite. Perfect. We're, we're making beds. We're making bedrooms. Look at all that. Look at all that. That's, that's plenty of bedrooms, right? Cool. So now... Yeah, that's quite a few bedrooms, I'd say. For a 24-person fort, I think we're doing good. And then... Yeah, look, more platinum! Perfect. I think we're, I think we're gonna be good on platinum this time. At least hopefully so. This is tetrahedrite, tetrahedrite, tetrahedrite. That's all fine. Oh, these are these are gems. This is all platinum. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's a good one. I think magnetite is the way hunting for magnetite is the way to hunt for platinum. Is what I am finding. Um oh and a hospital. We probably want a hospital. Now that I've used all my bids. Oh, that's not too bad. Or no, uh, I want those in the middle. I want them in the middle, don't I? In case I get the chance to make some traction benches. And then here's some tables. And some doors. And then some chests. And I'm just gonna do... No, we don't have any chests yet. <laughs> I put it... I put it in here, didn't I? Maybe. Um... All these wooden things, frock... Nope. Totally didn't. Uh, let's do rock coffer. I'm just gonna do a, a single order. Coffers and cabinets. And I'm gonna call this a hospital, even though it's, you know, not gonna have any junk in it yet. Uh, which is a meeting area. Like this and it's going to be a new hospital and then we want to have a chief medical dwarf who, who, <laughs> no, who wants the bone saw oh my goodness really no one knows anything about about medicine that's really cool uh peasant you're as good as anyone else i guess uh, and then we'll assign that peasant doctor to our our place and then and then we'll call it good yeah we're, we're gonna call it good and then and we have our our church here the stirred bandit of rope no particular deity all good there oh i never even finished all these walls off which doesn't even technically matter does it that's mostly just for for cleanliness Dwarves don't need medicine. They're naturally resilient and too stubborn to admit otherwise. True. Very true. Uh, okay, so we got our nest boxes. Uh, caravan, that's what we're doing. We are requesting our broker. And we're gonna move 
some goods, right? Uh, oh, we've been making a whole bunch of shell leggings. Do you want... Do you want my shell leggings? Do you want my 73 muscle shell leggings? Holy cow. <laughs> Too bad they're not in a bin or something. They're all just worth 10. They should be worth more than that, I thought. Hmm. If they are actually worth 10, then the wiki is wrong. Not that that's a big surprise or big deal. Um, we also have our statues, right? We already have 30 porcelain statues, but these are all super heavy. So I'm gonna say, like, bring, bring three of those. And then our bins. We don't have any bins with things in them, right? Here's a, here's a, here's a goblet bin. That'll be good. Uh, we already have like platinum, platinum avid bodies. Cool. And and you have some shell leggings. Okay, let's just do that. Let's do that. And there's nothing. There's nothing going on out here, right? There's some storks. Everyone, just leave the storks alone. We'll be fine. We have one grumpy, grumpy dwarf, and everyone else is, is kind of okay so far. Play statues. Uh, Merchant will be leaving. No. Well, I guess we could better hurry up. We're still waiting on one thing. Now we're just working. We're waiting on our broker. Hey, migrants. Cool. Hopefully our broker gets here. Because our broker getting here is like the part I care about. Broker cannot access depot. Oh, because it's outside of your zone. Duh. Okay, so we need to we need to pause the burrow. And then hopefully you get here in time. And then here come our here come our people. Okay, trade. Hopefully you get here in time. Okay. Ooh, we made it. So we are at supposedly 23,000. I'm gonna hit trade. I'm gonna close it. Now we're at 75,000. Look at that. Oh my goodness. See, that's better. That is better. better. I was close to a waterfall. I'm very content. Um, and then let's see if they have anything worth trading. You have some rope. Some instruments, a turkey, a hedgehog, some booze, a bunch of weapons, a bunch of armor for, you know, larger people, a bunch of seeds. Uh, that's probably not a bad idea. Barley, potato, blueberry, fox, tail, millet, flour. Well, it's, we're gonna make our own. We're gonna make our own flour. Grape seeds. Neat. Okay. Um, and some leather. We got some leather, though. I don't want to overbuy leather. Oh, but they have a bunch of food, of course. Okay. And a bunch of cheese. Okay. Fair enough. Um, how many can I, how many of these can I give you? A lot of Oh, they can bring, a, they can carry a bunch. Look at that. Okay, they can, they can keep, they can take all three of these statues. Let's do that. And then can we get all of your 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 food? Um and then this is is this all goblets? This is like all goblets. And a single oh yeah, uh our artifact large gem. Which technically is only useful for trading realistically. Trading or just keeping on hand. So maybe we'll trade it. Maybe we'll do that, and then we'll use it to buy a bunch of fish and stuff. And a bunch of meat. Maybe that's like way overkill. What if we did... What if we did just that? We could do just that. A single gem and buy out an entire caravan worth of food. I like that. 
I think I like that idea. Um, and then maybe toss in some leather until... I mean, we'll do we'll do one. Eh, okay, fine. Uh, no. How about we do this? Uh, okay. I want... I, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just... We respect that this is no mere trade. Did they... Oh, they accepted. Okay. Oh, that's because they... Because we gave them an artifact. So we succeeded? I mean... Yeah, it's all our and now it's all our stuff, right? Uh, let's turn the <laughs> turn the burrow back on. So you go inside, go inside now, please. And then we're and then we're good. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. And now we're up to thirty-two people. So that was like what eight? <laughs> Oi. Yeah, we're gonna be growing a little slower than I would prefer but i mean our wealth is going up but the wealth isn't the hard part it's the citizens it's the citizens every time and they're and they're embarking right now cool 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 um anyone oh li everyone just literally just went inside and started putting things in stockpiles which is good um, we have we have all this wood that's good we have smoothing jobs that aren't happening uh, we have a bunch of coal this is this is more magnetite hey, how about we dig more magnetite um, copper wall tetrahedrite tetrahedrite then Galena, Galena, Galena. Yeah, cool. And they're, they're I mean, you're you're working on it. There are a bunch of shells. There's a bunch of wool. A bunch of iron ore. Very good. Uh, what was I gonna put in here? Probably just more of everything when we get to the point of needing it. I think we're okay though. We don't even need a mare yet, do we? They look more magnetite. And then this is all coal. Holy cow. Holy cow. Um, let's not do this coal quite yet. But we know where to find it when we get there. And I'm also just going to tell them to dig another row of bedrooms. will be prepared when we need them. All right. And then and then what are we missing? We're going to need a, a militia quarter. Or just a random reindeer wandering around. Uh, look at all of our food. And, um, our, our pasture is here. Uh, reindeer. Oh, I should unassign the turkeys so that they can get to their nest boxes now. Well, that's a thing. So hopefully we get some eggs out of all that. Uh, and then the reindeer goes in. And then we're good. They're so fast at digging. This is tetrahedrite. Yeah, all these gems. Oh, we definitely want these gems, don't we? Gem, gem, gem.
And then, do I even have a way further down? I not I we hit the caves here. Okay, so we haven't gone deeper at all yet, have we? Okay, maybe that's what we're doing next. Maybe we dig deeper. Oh, here's Magnus Height. Never mind. Just dig, dig right there. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Um, okay, so then we're gonna want a stairwell down. We're gonna say it's over here, maybe. Yeah, let's go over here. Or not. This is all... I'm gonna go like up here. Down here. Hello, hello, hello! Oh, welcome, welcome. Where do I want to dig? I think I'm gonna dig up here. gonna do like that yeah, let's go down to go down to like 30 see if we can find another cave or something and then that will give us some room to put in like a little oops some traps and a, a, a bridge of some kind Cool. That's all fine. As long as you're all staying busy. Yeah, look, we're cutting so many gems. We're storing so many things. This is all... Shale. Ooh, there's... Hey, look, platinum. Jeez. They sure are going fast, aren't they? There's a bunch of marble. There's a bunch of marble. Wow. Um, okay, so then let's... Oh, that's fair. Toss in a couple of cage traps here just for the sake of paranoia. And then a bridge of some kind. And just do like that. Um, limestone blocks is fine. And then we'll also do a pair of doors just to, just to be safe, you know? You know? And then we can keep digging. Where, where'd, the, where'd the platinum go? Here. Definitely keeping... Definitely digging all the platinum we see. And then more stairs. This is tetrahedra. Yeah. Let's go down to 50. As soon as people start running out of, yeah, I think we're, I think we're getting there. Once the store item in stockpile bonanza is done, uh, we're still, there's still some things to pick up. But once that's a little more under control, we're gonna start. Uh, more magnetite. I start on our wall. I hope this smoothing happens. Maybe that's what I need to be <laughs> actually waiting for them to do. Or maybe I tell someone to actually do that. Of course, our miner is also a proficient. Um, let's do this. And then we'll say the four of you do those things for the moment. So hopefully that gets done before we drown someone. 
right? That's all aquifer. This is all aquifer. Oh, maybe I need to make it top priority. I can't smooth the soil walls like that. We'll just do this. That. This is all this is all wet, right? What if I just I mean I do want to come back in here, don't I? Ugh. Yeah, I I'm I mostly just want this to drain, don't I? Currently sitting here redoing my pyramid pit. I have a I have such a better design already built up and my river is powered by a really big aquifer for the inner pyramid water feature. Ooh, neat, 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 neat. Inner pyramid water feature, that's a cool phrase. Yeah, like I don't want this to fill, right? Maybe what we need, we just need more room in here. Oh look, it's already autumn. Neat. need to dig a drain for it but you know it'd be better if I didn't have to bother but we might you might have to Because this is all just <laughs> this is all just filled, right? Yeah. Um, and I could I could I could drain that into the caves, but that's gonna be a it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a whole thing. Are you do we have do we have turkey eggs? We have turkey eggs. 14 turkey eggs. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we have fish. We have clean. We have gather. We're smoothing. We're smoothing. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're gonna be good. Uh, so I'm gonna start planning out our wall here. Uh, I'm gonna say wall. And I'm just gonna... Um, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing our pick manually thing. So I'm gonna want our wall to come across here, right? We'll kinda <laughs> I, I want to include some of this river in our in our inside. That's the main thing here. Uh, and we can build straight across it because it's a brook, which is convenient. We have a whole bunch of limestone, look at that. So I'm just gonna do this. And then we can I want to make sure there's a little bit of room between the river and this side so that we can like dig stairs down into here for when that becomes a thing. Uh, so I'm going to say we're going to have like our the inner part of our serpentine goes here. And then Really, this is probably large enough even. Let's just go just straight across. Caravan, our dwarven caravan. Uh, and then, and then where to go? I'm stone blocks, cool. So let's say, let's say we come in from here. chop down a bunch of these trees too uh, especially the ones the ones outside we want to get these we want to get these we want to get uh, these we want to get these hey look they brought elephants too awesome okay uh broker requested and what are we trading 
have the dwarves. We have we have the same bear, uh, box full of instruments or not instruments. Uh, there's there's some instrument pieces in there. Well, grand. Is there is there an assembled instrument in here? Holy cow! We've been going nuts on the goblets. Holy cow! Cool. Um, I would love to have like an assembled instrument, but I think we're still working our way up to that. Um, but then I need to we need to pause the burrow. And diplomacy. Hello, hello, hello. Um, are we? I think we're good on leather. What? How are we on leather? There's tanned hides in here. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, okay. I think we got, we got some leather. We got some leather. Yeah, I don't think we need to request more leather. Uh, so we'll just keep requesting food. Meat. Fish. Plants. And garden veggies. I think that's that's all we're gonna be requesting. I think that's fine. And then, as far as this goes, um, right? Because I'm I'm gonna not bother with the wagons. Um, so this is this is really just gonna be a footpath, right? I'm gonna say screw wagons. This will be a two wide path. stone limestone and then we'll say they enter in through here and that'll be it right I think that's all we need I think we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to put a bridge uh, here once that is <laughs> once that's chopped. Uh, that'll happen shortly, hopefully. I'm going to... Okay, uh, we're still waiting our items. We're at 80k wealth. How about that? That's with an expert appraiser. Uh, she just passed out, didn't she? I'm okay with that. Come on. Awaiting one item. Oh, and our broker. Our broker left. You were just here. You were just here. Where's our one item? You're coming back. If you make it back before our one item, I'm just gonna trade. Oh, okay. Perfect. Good. Uh, so I'm gonna trade, and we're at ninety-six thousand. Look, we're a third of a way to our our wealth goal, and we're in year one and a half. Yeah. Okay. That's not too bad, right? Um, I'm gonna trade. I'm not gonna buy more leather. I think we're just. I think we're just gonna buy all this meat, right? <laughs> well, cool. Um, so if I say just these categories, what do you, what do you require? Wow, that's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. Six grand worth of meat. Do I even have that much in the trade depot? I don't think I do. So, can I, that's fine, can I request more?
Alter. Is there a bin with some assembled instruments in it? Have we have we assembled any instruments? Musical instruments, none. Okay. Explain to me why. Because we don't have strings. And we don't have gold bars. We haven't found gold. Are you serious? We have not found gold. Okay. I just always assume that we have a bunch of gold. So let's do this. Let's say... The strings will also be platinum. Uh, right? I need to go in here and I need to say... This. Platinum. And then this is on platinum. Okay. So we're probably not going to have any made for this caravan. Since they need to make strings and then assemble. But we have statues, right? Do you want some big ol' honking statues? What's our... Is 250? No, look, there's some 300s in here. Hopefully people start getting good at making these statues. Man, they, they are cranking these out. Holy cow. The speed at which they make these is kind of impressive. Um, we're, we're asking for three. And it's going to take them a bit to move them, too. See if we can see if we can get it all in there before they take off. It's migrants. Perfect. Or did 32. So six. Six people, really? Oh my god, it's been a while. How's the fort doing? Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, we're doing good. We're getting some real pitifully small migrant waves, which is super cool and exactly what I want. Um, <laughs> but other I mean, otherwise, this fortress is going pretty flawlessly so far, right? Um, we're trading with our dwarves. And I'm wanting to buy all of their meat. Community challenge complete. Wow. Excellent, excellent. I'm going to have to buy some more shinies, aren't I? Um, I, yeah, I'm not going to get five grand worth of... Let's see what I can do. I'm not going to trade the quiver or the instrument body. Just a whole bunch of goblets. Holy cow. It is a lot of goblets. And a rope. Okay. So that puts us, man, and, and clicking all these individually, oh goodness. So if I buy everything except for the meat, it's like way not enough. But then that's like, I need like half of this. I need to be able to select like 10 at a time. Oh my goodness. Shiny, shiny, shinies. Okay, we're we're getting there. I guess it's adding up faster than I thought. Oh, and I'm, I'm going the wrong way. I need to not do quite that much. There need to be green profit. There we go. So we're trading away three grand. We're getting two grand worth of meat and stuff. I I think that's going to work. And then no broker needed. I'm going to turn your burrow back on. And then we're good. Go back inside, please. And then we're building our, our wall. Still only up to 38. 
We're we're halfway to our our personal best time wise, and we have less. We don't even have a mayor yet. Well, at the at, on the plus side, these dwarves are going to be leaving, saying we're having a hundred k worth of wealth, which is way more than we had last time they left. Uh, needs empty bag, oh, of course. Are we actually making bags? Do I have a bag job in here? I might not. Um, okay. Is that better made out of leather or cloth? What do we have? I know that we have a bunch of tanned hides, right? A bunch of tanned hides. And then a cloth situation. Where where are you? There you are. Uh yeah, a little a little less. But look, we, we have some sheep cloth. Cool. We've made some cloth since we've been here. Um, but I'm going to say leather bags. Uh, this is going to go... One at a time? Maybe... No, let's just... I'm just going to make, like, 20 leather bags. I don't want that to get stuck on, on repeat forever and then we just use all our leather. That would be a little sad. So let's not do that. Plus side, I mean, we have... Hey, look, someone's assembling. We're constructing. We're gathering. Everyone's doing stuff. Everyone's doing stuff. Uh, I wonder if all this smoothing happened. Smoothing looks like it happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's going to be its, all, its own thing. But... I mean, this is looking good, right? Look, a petition. The Order of Fortune has many worshippers in Treasure Rack, a temple, and a priest. Okay. We can do that. Okay, so we're not slipping and sliding everywhere. We are... We're, our waterfalls are still going good. Um, oh, and these aren't going to take general... Or no, they are going to take general work orders. Um, I'm going to put them down to one. So I don't want. I should have tied the. I should have tied the loom job to, to those, because there's another farmer's workshop down in the kitchen. I don't want those happening at. Right? Yeah. There's a bunch of wool here. Okay. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do that. See, I wish I could come in here to a job, a a spin thread job, and tie it to an existing shop. The number of maximum work workshops. So I can tell how many. But I want to say which ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove that and then we're gonna come back up here to here. Yeah. So you do not take general work orders, you have a specific work order for spin thread. It's gonna be one at a time. As long as we have some available. I think 15 is fine. Do, 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 do. Keep that a little more tidy. Um, this is all. This all should be happening, right? We're making bolts. We're making strings. We're making instruments. We're smelting all sorts of stuff. Um, in theory, the glass stuff is still happening, right? Uh, where's my glass goblets? They should be activating soon. Um, and then the kilns. Let's let's double up on those. Let's just get this going. Let's go glass furnace. And kiln. Um, 
and go into those respective jobs. Here's our goblets. Um, I want it to activate like four at a time. And we have like 10 coal and four of those. That's fine. And then we are collecting sand up to, so like up to 10. Because then, because some of these, maybe we should make like a, a specific, we should make a specific sand collection building thing. Uh, but then as far as the statues go, make clay statue. Um, let's say coal is 10, clay stones is four, and then that will also go four at a time. Do that. And then our sand collection zone is up here somewhere. Yeah, it's just it's just this, right? So let's Yeah, look at all this. There's still there's still some stuff in here. Uh, but I'm gonna save. The merchants will be leaving soon, that's fine. Furnace, glass furnace. And it's just gonna live, it's just gonna live here. And that will have its own dedicated collect sand job. And let's do that forever. Unless we want like an empty bag stockpile here, right? Uh, let's do... Which is a... Cool. I can never remember where empty bags end up. There we go. Bag. That's gonna be like just bags. Mm, whatever. Let's not get too fancy. They can go downstairs to grab an empty bag. That's fine. If I can click on it, why can't I? Oh, weird. No general work orders. You collect sand. You do it one at a time because you're just one shop. And you're going to do it. Right, I have to do a bag. Sand fill. So sand bearing. Sand bearing bags, at least 10. And then if we don't have empty bags, it'll just fail and then I'll, I'll see it. Is the idea. Uh, so then I should go into our other... Take a quick tour? Sure, one second. Uh, let's see, I just want to make sure this collect sand job goes away. So then, in theory, they are... they're just doing it through here. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Uh, we're we're making stuff. So so far we so we have a we have a wall. There will be some more stuff up here uh, very shortly. Um, but we're gonna do some farming. We're gonna do some power generation, and then we'll uh, do some defensive stuff up here. Uh, but then there's all of our our entryway stuff. I could probably make more. We're still we're still moving some of our stuff around. As our pasture, we embarked with a we embarked with an elephant. We have a stray war elephant. Uh, that's cool. Uh, but then we dug underneath the aquifer, which took a bit. Um, and then yeah, here here's our actual stockpile. And then here's our our crafting floor. Um, we're mostly we're making instruments, right? In theory, we are we're forging. Forging instruments, uh, cutting blocks, 
making muscle shell leggings. Yeah, I want to make sure that the musical instruments are actually happening. Those are going to be our... We have one. How are you? Near like 3,000. So, you know, um, we're, we're working on it. Uh, we should get steel going as well if people are catching up on their jobs. Let's do forge... Pig iron, or let's make pig iron. Make pig iron bars, and then make steel. Those are both important. Um, so we want to keep an eye on all of those things, really. And those numbers are all fine. And then steel, same kind of thing. So I don't care about how much iron. Uh, but I do care about coal. And let's say like 50 steel. And then below that we have more storage. Uh, they're, fi they're finally packing all of our blocks into bins. So that's a good sign. Um, our calonite is moving up here. We got our limestone. We haven't found, haven't found gold, but we've been finding platinum. Um, here's all of our wood, or not our wood, our food. And then our, you know, our our kitchen floor, our dining hall, um, our, our our general temple. Um, I'm gonna build another one for our our request, right? Um, we'll just dig that out. We're, we got space for a mayor and a baron at some point. This is our hospital, um, which reminds me I need to do like ropes. Let's do let's do some yarn ropes since we're making a bunch of yarn. Uh, we'll just make ten. That'll be fine. Uh, we got a bunch of bedrooms, and that's kind of it. Uh, we got our caves, and then we're we're exploring down a little bit. Uh, and then is, is limonite? Yeah, okay. So then, and then we're just kind of, we're looking out for, for platinum and gold. That's, that's where we're at right now, and, and hoping more people show up. Tetrahedrite. Silver? Silver isn't as, as worthwhile as I would like it to be. Um, so we're gonna keep digging. Let's go down to 70. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of it's a it's a small fort, fort. Um, so it's a little quaint, but that's what we're going for. We're we're building wealth and we're hopefully attracting citizens. Um, we're we're sending out our dwarven caravan with uh, with the knowledge that we have a hundred thousand worth of stuff right now. So hopefully they go out and tell the world and send us a bunch of dwarves. But you know. We are, we're, we're a year and a half in and we're still at 38, which is not a bunch. I would like more. I would like to have more people right now. Um, let's do some cage traps in here. I'm sure something's gonna happen. And then we just wanna make room for power. I want farms. We can start making farms. Farms, farms, farms. Which is a workshop. Let's go here. Three, four, five. Something like this. And we'll make some farms. And then we'll call this our seed stockpile. Don't even have an indoor farm. I'm just gonna do an outdoor farm. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna make that out of. I don't wish it told me. Oh. Doors. 
Oh, I need to wait for the wall to be built, that's fair. And then we'll put a roof on this. Look at that, almost a hundred platinum bars. That is what I want to see. Uh, so then we're going to channel. Oh, it's four wide right there. I'm not even going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to say three, 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 three. Let's do, let's do four water wheels. I think that will work. And then... These guys, I'm gonna undo that, right? Miners, I still want you mining. We have two wood cutters, uh, plant gatherers, I want to be no one. Or, no, that's not true. Let's say three plant gatherers. And I'm gonna adjust the size of the zone. So that they only do it within the courtyard. So the fishing will still happen outside. Well, actually, the fishing can happen inside, can't it? What if we just say stay inside? What if we say that's our fishing zone? Now no one has to go outside, do they? You're, yeah, you're fishing. Look, you're fishing inside the courtyard. I don't know why I didn't think about putting a, uh, a river through the courtyard before. I think that's kind of smart. Um, do we have planters? We don't have... <laughs> no one knows how to plant. Oh my god. Um, let's do... A, oh, this is nobody does this. Okay, let's do that. Um, okay, so we have we have two hunters. I think that's probably plenty. We have four planters. We have a fisher dwarf. Let's let's do this. I mean, two skilled fisher dwarves, and they can do it inside. I think that's fine. Um, we don't have anyone engraving really, um, or we don't have any engraving jobs at least. And yeah, okay, I think that's fine. I think uh, that's fine. Let's do some water wheels. We're just gonna do four needs. Okay, so then I need to make our gear assembly first. Can I build it here? I wouldn't be able to dig it here. So let's do. I guess let's build my vertical shaft first. Um, so it's gonna be. I guess we can do it on this. Do it over here. Maybe that makes sense. Can I make that work? Not really. No. Okay. Well, I want to come over here, right? Some somewhere over here. So that's gonna be where I dig down ultimately, uh, but obviously I, <laughs> I need to get over there from there. We're gonna do gonna do like this. No, I think maybe think maybe on this side. I think our oh, wait. I think we'll do like this. This will be our, our initial down. Do something like this. And that'll all get sealed off again. Um, let's do that first. Cool. Oh, and of course there's gonna be aquifer in here. That's just gonna make everything easy, right? Uh, okay, but then I can put... Oh, come on. That'll be fine. Uh, 
down. I didn't actually mean to channel there. So it's, it's a little floor there. Oh my god. Uh, wood is fine since it's right there. I want a horizontal axle that goes from here to here. Right, and then I'm gonna do a gear assembly right here. And then we can do our water wheels. Oh, they're gonna have to connect too, aren't they? That's that's fine though. We'll do like this. And we want another horizontal axle. Goes like this. And let's do one like that. And then we'll do a gear assembly there. And then two more water wheels and there and there. And then a vertical axle. Here and or not not there even. Pencil. And then a gear assembly. Perfect. Well that at least gets us power underground. And look at this, we have farms. Uh, so what do we have available to us? Do we have... We do not have a uh, whip vine, but that's fine. Let's say... Barley's good, right? Barley's good for booze. We'll have one that's just doing barley all year round. I'll we'll say you're doing alfalfa. Oh, now it's winter. Cool. Now we're not going to get any more dwarves until <laughs> the next spring. My goodness. I mean, if we got, I was gonna be, I was gonna say, if we got twenty-five dwarves for for four waves, then that would put us on track. But that would, but we're not gonna get a winner one, so that that would tie. <laughs> if we got twenty-five dwarves over the next four waves, plus two babies or something, we would tie our PB. And we're not guaranteed that many dwarves, so that's cool. Oh well. Uh, okay. And what did I say? You're doing alfalfa. Let's say uh, bilberry and blueberry and cranberry. And those are all good things. We could do fisherberries. And why? Why? And grape. And potato. And we don't need to do rat weed. Or no. Well. I think they can be brewed. I think they can be brewed. We're just gonna do some of everything. Um, strawberries, cool. Uh, Ropery is mostly for paper and stuff. So let's say more cranberries, let's say more grape. More blueberry. I think that'll all work. Uh, but look, power. So now we need to route this power all the way over here <laughs> to get down all the way to our our shops. Uh, but yeah, in, in here, that's what we're doing. Yeah, uh, but we can even go a little up, right? And go. We could even do it like this. We'll just have it come right down into that shop area. Yeah. Go from here. There. Let's do this. And then lock that. And that's all going to be through Aquifer, so I have to sit here and watch them do it. Cool. Uh, but that'll get us our power. Hmm. Oh, you made it pretty far. Um, we can also get them to start placing... ...the millstones. a machine, not a shop. 
because why would it be? And just do that. And then we want a, a gear assembly right there. And then they're probably not done digging up here. Or well, they got pretty close. That's pretty close. Gear assembly. Oh, we need more mechanisms. Holy cow. just didn't update itself. Weird. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and then I'll leave another one like this. You can't go over that. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Don't care about that stairway. Anyway. Just need a vertical axle here and in <laughs> and, and here somewhere. I guess I guess we need a channel at first, don't we? Channel, channel. And then I think we're almost good. We're gonna have water draining out into our kitchen, but that's fine. Hope the turkeys are okay with that. Vertical axle. <laughs> Peace. Uh, okay, and then we're already using a hundred. <laughs> we might need more water wheels. We'll see what happens when they get it all when they get it all connected. They're all placed already. Look at all that. Cool. Everything's going smoothly. Uh, we'll want to build an indoor trade depot. Hey, look, we have gold. We found gold in there somewhere, and we're making steel. Cool. And these are all going. Look at that. Look at that. We still got a hundred to spare. Holy cow. Okay, so then let's go in here and we're going to mill plants. And I'm just going to assume that anything that's worth milling should be milled. We're going to need a bunch of bags, aren't we? We'll just, we'll do that. We'll keep an eye on our bag situation. Uh, but in theory, we're just gonna start... I mean, oh, and I want this stairwell to be actually connected, don't I? Since they're gonna be going back and forth quite a bit. This and this. That way. And then I can dig. Look, you're milling. You are milling oats into a cave blog, a cave blob leather bag. Perfect. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. Were we growing oats? Was oats one of our things? I didn't see oats. I see oats now. I don't think we're. 
was a blue. Yeah, let's do oats here. Strawberry. Already used all of our strawberry. All two of our strawberry seeds. Oats. Oats, oats, oats. Cool. Look at this. Look at this. We are, we're all safe inside. Uh, we don't have any, any trees going up against our, our wall. We just have our one inside pine tree here and a willows, which don't give us, you know, food or anything. So might even just chop those, take down, the, take them down for wood. Um, and what is it even in here still? We still have seeds in here, which I don't want. Coins, empty cages, gems. Oh, we don't want gems in here. Gems should all be downstairs. I think we have a gem pile. Yeah, uncut gems, cut gems. So let's do that. Um, this whole stockpile is going to get a bit smaller. But it will still continue holding the cages and such. And then this one is going to get bigger. Except, and then, yeah. Whoa. Fisher berries, we got barley, we got bilberries. Nice. There's a bunch of seeds there. Nice. I think, I think we're in good shape here. Uh, oh, and I was going to put a floor here, because they're all just going to go up there. Yeah. Put a floor here. Uh, a log, that's fine. Now they're all gonna go grab the logs and put them inside. Good, 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 good. Uh, so now I want a militia quarter. Um, I think we're we're making stuff. I think our our industry is is going. We're still storing a whole bunch of stuff. Our miners aren't doing anything, uh, which means they need more jobs. Which means uh, we need to dig deeper, right? I want to keep. Keep going down. That went down to 70. It's all this. Ooh, here's gold. Okay, so let's... We started at 50. Um, this is all... Ooh, amethyst. So I'll just granite. Uh, amethyst. Cool. Oh, we should start encrusting our gems as well. That's probably our next, our next deal. A lot of granite. Oh, uh, but here's gold. Should I switch? I mean, we have enough platinum that I almost don't know if I care. Uh, and then let's just go down to a hundred. We probably skipped a, a cave or two in there. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, militia quarter. That's a thing. So it's gonna go... I don't want to build it in the aquifer, right? Ugh. Uh, and then this is... this is also aquifer. And that's also aquifer, and that's aquifer. And then... and then this is the top of our fortress. Do I just put them all the way up? Do I put them up here? I think we're I think I'm just gonna put them up here. Well, I mean this is there's also aquifer up here. There's just aquifer everywhere. I think, I think our militia quarter is just going to be up here. And we'll go like this. Oh. This will be our, this will be a hallway. Because I know that I can get up to our, our wall pretty easily from here, right? And we'll just say that this is just a hallway that happens to have a giant axle in it. As you do. 
Uh, we'll say this is a training area. This is a training area. These are going to be barracks. Five, six. Let's do a pair of them. Um, so barracks, like a tra mil melee training, range training, barracks, barracks, and then and then there's stuff, right? Um, even go like this. And we'll just say your, your stocks go there. Okay. And then, and then they just need a stairway up, right? I'm gonna say, because this is all just ground. But I do want to be able to put a little wall around it. So maybe it goes down here. Or even down here. If I could. I guess I can't do. I can't do that tile. Hmm. I mean. Maybe it's just the middle. Maybe we do like this. I think that. I think that works. Or we'll have to punch through and then we'll build up from there. That's fine. This will be limestone, since we still have a bunch of limestone. No creature needs fisherberry seeds, that's fine. I'm gonna cancel all of our stuff. I wonder if they can still dig. Can you still dig? have done that in the wrong order. Or I'll just do... Ugh. <laughs> I can't... Uh, okay, well, how about this? As awkward as that is. making instruments. Instruments are happening. Okay, so now we want to do construct stairs in here. Limestone. And then they're gonna cancel all of this. Do you like some damp barracks? Five. One, two, three, four, five. This will be our armor stockpile. So, ammo, armor, and weapons. Except the armor, I don't want shell. Because the shell leggings are trade goods. And... And I think those can end up in... In here somewhere? Or do those... Those might not even have a place to go. Are they just all in? No. Where did they end up? Oh, because this is this is that stockpile. Okay, so then I'm gonna say these things don't go here. 
except for except for shell. Yeah, and all our gems ended up there. All our leather is all our leather and cloth. So we don't have actually have that much leather, do we? We have all these finished goods though. Own oh, hives! We need to place our hives. That's the other thing a courtyard's good for. Hives, hives, hives. Let's just make more. late winter, so I'm not going to bother changing that stuff yet. Don't gather from these. Okay, did this all work? I think this all worked, as awkward as it all is. Now let's put a wall back in right here. For the sake of controlling flow a little. We should start making armor as well. From here, we're making a bunch of fortifications, aren't we? Let's start with our floor. Yes. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. You have to build the floor first. And now it's spring! Spring of our third year. Can we get 100 dwarves in three seasons? I doubt it. We want the corners first, even, don't we? I'll try to remember that this time. Uh, 
Uh, so yes, yeah, so we want to do these these corners first. I'm gonna cancel these. These will be fine, uh, but I want to put floors here just temporarily. These will be wood, and that'll be fine. And then we go around. Do you think we can do the whole thing in limestone? Oh my gosh. Hives. Okay. Oh, and then we can just remove here and here. And look at that. We can do here. I'm gonna want some doors up here. And then we're gonna go across. Do we have another 31? just fishing right here you're just farming right here bees power all of our outdoor stuff is right here we have a hunter running around probably and that's literally the only thing that anyone needs to leave this wall for there's a black bear neat i'm not even worried am i you're just wandering around out here on our trade quarter that's a thing we should definitely do because the elves are about to show up, aren't they? Um, so let's go down to here and I'm not going to bother making a path for the caravan. I'm just going to make... Hey look, the elves are here. I'm just going to make a room in here. I could even just put the, the GPO in here, couldn't I? I'm just gonna dig and dig. We'll make it a nice square. And and everyone can get up right through here. Could there be enough room for I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna dig this out. But we'll end up putting a wall here. And then all of this will be stockpile room as well. I'll put our trade depot right here. Like that. Look at that. All we gotta do. 
course, will be tr they're the elves are going to show up right here, right now. So we're going to have to bring all of our stuff out. But they're just elves. I mean, do we even trade? I think I think I request my broker. I don't think they're going to have anything that I want to to acquire from them. Oh, and we needed to pause our burrow so a broker can get outside. Still says we're hovering at around a hundred thousand. Um, so here you are. I'm going to open the thing and then close the thing. And now we are at still about a hundred thousand. Okay, interesting. Professional appraiser. Almost tempted to say just go back. <laughs> and and well, what happens if we disassemble? That might actually not be good. But if we accidentally steal from them, I think that might count towards our like count against us in some way. Or would it? I guess it's just... I guess it wouldn't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to trade with him, though. Let's do here. And here. A little bit short, aren't we? Maybe like 15 short. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother waiting for more. Uh, and then we can do a floor up here. We have 69 gold bars. Holy cow. Nice. As they say. Uh, okay, this will be a little patchwork, but that's fine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. A black bear has stolen five bayberries. I guess that's a thing they would do, isn't it? by bees um this is all this is all of working though right and look at our mood look at that lovely lovely we're out of oat seeds or no but we have oat seeds planted okay so we're fine we're fine everything is fine I don't think I have any hatches, do I? Nope. Just the two should be fine. go look at us go we are we're good aren't we now uh, we should get our actual military set up i guess since that's a thing we might not even end up needing it but of course if i say that we're gonna get a freaking dragon or something so i am gonna set them up Let's start with, so we want to have some crossbows. Let's do some, like just an order of wooden crossbows. Um, I know we have some, I'm going to say five, just for the sake of having them. I'm going to do steel and breastplates, steel helms, steel battle axes. And just 10 of each of those, and that'll be good. Because in theory, we have a bunch of steel now. We have some steel. 
We have a bunch of platinum. We have a bunch of gold. Oh, and we should start getting um, our encrusting going too. That'll be a good wealth, good wealth generator. Um, yeah. Okay. So, and then oh, we need to link that too. Let's let's do that real quick. Uh, this is going to be courtyard gate. So then this goes down there. This is all good. This is all of our all of our stuff, right? Yeah. And then below this, I can I can channel out here. And we'll build our uh, archery targets. Gotta look good. I think we just do this. Archery range like this, except you shoot down. Good. Or, or. Okay. So our admiration of abbeys, our our nice diligence. Uh, Militia commander has been in our squad for a bit. Um, right? And you're... Lolar? Expert herbalists. Uh, eat good meal, fight, learn something. I can fix one of those. Martial training. Yeah, okay. Let's keep you in. Let's keep you in here. Adequate fighter rusty. Okay. Um, migrants, hooray! Okay, that's... Uh, well, give me some dwarves, please. How are they showing up there? How are they spawning in the middle of the map like that? Are my dwarves springing out of a hole in the ground here? Emergency leaving, that's fine. What are you doing? Install hive. Okay, that's fair. Uh, but we're we're getting there. I mean, oh, like look at this. This is that's a good start. It's a good start. Still need still need another ninety some dwarves. But that's more that's more people, and that's that's a welcome sight, right? As we're trying to flesh out our military, so could be worse. Um, so this is going to be our ranged squad. Um, we'll say ranged potential. Uh, you're a gelder. Yeah, we can grab you. A peasant, that's fine. She's maker wood burner, whatever. And spinner. Spinner's probably fine. We'll say those are our five ranged dwarves. And then we will create a new squad. This will be our... The Dented Boats. <laughs> this will be our melee squad. Uh, so we have... Hey look, another peasant. Sure. And we got a, a mayor. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Uh, here's a peasant. Here's a peasant. Here's a peasant. And... Uh, wood crafter? I'm not crafting wood. Cool. So I'm going to set up their uniforms. Um, add uniform. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be replacing clothing. Replace clothing, but partial matches are okay. I think that's the best way to do it. So for the range people, we just want breastplate, helm, reeves. Gauntlets, high boots. You don't need a shield. You just need a crossbow. Um, and then these should be steel. All right, 
confirm and save. And then I'm going to assign them all that uniform. Now we're going to go for it. And same thing here, add uniform. Breastplate, but also a mail shirt and a helm and greaves and gauntlets and high boots and shields and battle axes. Same thing, partial matches, but it replaces. Confirm. Assign. Good to go. And then. A petition, oh yeah. Um, own a guild hall, cool. Armor guild. I never made that other. I never made the other thing. Uh, merchants are leaving, that's all good. We're running out of steel. That's all expected, I guess. Uh, let's deconstruct this to truly bring everything inside. And then this all got done. Wow. Uh, let's do a hatch. Yup. Yup. Now. Uh, we need to make their barracks, right? Uh, we're going to do a barracks over here and then this is a barracks for our first one uh those and then another barracks like that and this will be for the other one and then a barracks here and this is just for both of them to train and then this one is for the ranged squad to train. And then they need a, a schedule, right? Um, but before they get a schedule... Actually, I'm gonna... Actually, I do want them patrolling, don't I? I want them to get practice patrolling. Let's go ahead and set up a... Uh, a patrol. I'll start right here. Go like that. Slam, confirm, um, and then we'll cancel that order. Then we'll go into their schedule. Um, constant training, but instead of a 10 person order, we're going to say two people train and two people patrol the wall patrol. They sleep in their barracks at will and they always keep their equipment. Perfect. And then our melee squad going to do similar, except they're just training three at a time. And they sleep in barracks at will. Yeah, cool. I think I think that's that. They will. They'll start figuring it out. Gonna take a, take a minute for that all to be, you know, established, but they'll we'll start at it. So now we need to make a, a mayor. And that's right, we have a mayor now. That's right. Um, this is a temple. This is a new temple. And it is for... Who's it for? It must be them. This is a, a religion focused on gambling. Okay. Um, I guess let's smooth it. They probably want it to be of, of a certain quality, right? Um, and we also need a guild hall. Let's do... Do like here. things need to be better than that, then we can start putting in those statues. 
speaking of which, we need to get our... Well, we need to make more bedrooms. Uh, we should do our encrusting. We need to do the encrusting. Make those statues worth something. Okay. Door. Door. Uh, I should put doors on these. There's some bedrooms. Uh, and what did I just say? Guild Hall for the Farmer Guild. Oh, encrusting. Encrusting, encrusting, encrusting. Armor. Perfect. The Beard of Beaching. chests, and then weapon racks. We also need chests in our dining, in our, in our hospital. <laughs> Might be important. No, not an archery target. Oh, did I never make... Drop armor stand. Rock, weapon, rank. Just need five of each of those. And then, do we have anyone worth setting to engraving? You are a proficient engraver. You're also a miner. I guess that's probably fine. Um, let's just say engrave those. Encrusting. Encrusting is the thing that we're doing now. Um, so we need stockpiles for input and output. Um, of course, all of our statues are here, which is good. Um, let's do... I mean, it could just output back into the furniture stockpile, couldn't it? Let's do... Let's do input like this. This will be in first input. And then another one here. Oh. Okay. And then two of these are going to be for encrusting. They won't take general work orders. These are where the that happens. So then you need to input from uh, which one's which. Of course, it doesn't show me. Cut gems. Input from cut. And input, and then out to output. This needs to accept furniture. I'm gonna do the statues. Uh, so let's do like this. Let's say type doesn't count for anything, but we'll take all the statues. And same thing here.
flame. And then this will, or this one will take. Like that. And then let's toss in a couple of wheelbarrows because statues are heavy. And there we go. All these porcelain statues of a dwarf, of a fly, of a dwarf, of forgotten beasts. Neat. So now I'm going to say encrust furniture with cut gems on repeat. Perfect. Now it's summer. Okay, cool. Um, I will be right back. I think we're we're making decent progress. I mean, the fortress is being built. Just don't have people. Okay, I'm back. Oh, my goodness. Well, they're going for it. They're going for it. Cool. Why? So glass isn't happening. What is, what are, what are, what are our holdups? Oh, we don't have sand bearing bags. Are we just, we're out of bags? Um, where's our, where's our bag? Where's our, our sand? Collect sand. At least 10. Oh, I... This has just been broken this way this whole time. Okay. Well... And that's going to immediately activate. Unless we're out of bags. Priesthood is ready to be recognized. Neat. Now we're collecting sand. Okay. So then what about the statues? We're out of clay stones. Okay, that can also be fixed. Ugh. I wish I wish it were easier to keep an eye on all that stuff. That's Dwarf Fortress for you. Uh, let's see if we can find Kalanite that is not in a aquifer. Hi, creature. Do you want to lay down? No, you want over here. Okay, I guess. Uh, oh, and do we have any limits on our food stuff? I guess I should check that because we have lavish meal. I'm just gonna say, yeah, let's let's take off our caps here. Say more than twenty, and then we're gonna, gonna brew. We're just gonna brew. We should also get our honey stuff going. Uh, but calonite, calonite first. Limestone, bauxite. Uh, limestone, limestone. Claystone, coal, claystone, 
It's all just, well, it's all claystone. We did, we were digging. We were digging Kalanite at one point. Is it all up here? It's, it's limestone. Oh, I saw some. I saw some. It's right here. Let's do like human caravan, hooray. Something like that. Okay. So now the porcelain jobs should start going again. Yeah, they're just immediately uh, grabbing them. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And we're we're running out of platinum too. Jeez. Jeez and crackers. Just keeping keeping these production lines fed is a whole challenge, isn't it? Uh, mayor's been reelected. I never did assign the mayor to that room, did I? Where'd he go? Where are we? Where am I? Here we are. Meow. Oh, I'm gonna say bedroom. Oh, we still need doors in there. Door. Door. Bedroom? Come out. This is for the mayor. And then we want a dining hall. It's for the mayor. And then we want an office. It's for the mayor. Hey look, a forgotten beast. I hope that's in a place that's sealed off. Gigantic beakless cuckoo. Neat. Has two broad horns and it squirms and fidgets. Plum feathers are long and sparse, but where its noxious secretions. Where are you? You're in cave one, so we should be fine. You are booking it to something. I don't think you can get in. What are you going for? Okay. Goodbye, I guess. Caravan is in here somewhere. Hey, look, they're training. Oh, and that just filled with. Hmm. Yep, sure did. Hooray, aquifers. I know, right? Okay, and now we can just trade in here. Broker requested. Okay, bye. Okay, so now what do we have to trade? Now that. Everything has been not going. Oh, we've got a bunch. Look, 37 grand right there. That's cool. Uh, okay, well, they've been going nuts on the Evids. Nice. Uh, what about our... What about everything else? We, we kind of stopped making the... The goblins. I guess there's a bunch of goblins in here. Okay. Let's try 18 grand. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's try statues. Do we have some in, uh, encrusted statues? There we go. Yeah, 1600. For porcelain statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of statues. Cool. Uh, we'll call it good. Okay, we're in theory at 138,000, according to our broker. Uh, but let's give our broker a little bit more XP. You're a professional. So let's trade. And now we're at 150. Hmm. 
yeah we're we're just straight up not producing as in as fast are we but that still doesn't make a whole lot of sense does it because we are with 50 musical instruments these are all gonna be worth three thousand a pop yeah we're still being lowballed aren't we because then if you look at like you look at the statues and it's even more uh naked wool dog is fighting that's fine Goblets are happening. Black sand is happening. Okay. We're working through our steel stuff. Got it. Now, you brought me a bunch of food, right? Probably. Uh, some flour. Alfalfa seeds bag. I'll take that. Muckroot seeds. Blueberry seeds. Okay. Oh, and did you bring me leather? I didn't actually ask for leather, but I do want leather. That's all worth 670? Okay, cool. All these gems they have. Wow. I think we're good though. I think we're just gonna take their food. Bread, I don't care about. Loin clouds, no, we're fine. Uh, we should actually make some backpacks and, and quivers and stuff, uh, but we'll do that with the leather that we're buying right now, because then it will count towards our wealth. Uh, yeah, so then from that, we can trade them a single statue. Have a single statue. I'm actually going to give them more because we need to be trading more. That's going to be plenty. Great. Good. None needed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, if we come down here, you want a priest. Holy Pearl is going to be... Uh, I don't know. Fishery Burger? Brewer. That's fine. Cool. So that will satisfy the agreement, right? And then in theory, our, our guild hall will be satisfied at some point, too. I'm even going to say engraving the rest of this is now a lower priority. But this one happens first. That'll work. Um, our mayor still needs... Mayors make large gems. Fuck off. I don't even think you can make those on purpose. Uh, you need cabinets and stuff. Okay. Militarily, things have been pretty chill, haven't they? Uh, what do you got? You're, you got a helm and a, a breastplate, but you don't have a weapon, do you? That's awfully cool. Uh, I am going to put in an order for quivers. And backpacks. And water skins. And ten of each of those should be enough, right? Green jade, cool. I like this. I like our little courtyard setup here. I'm really happy with this. As far as it being like minimal and efficient and doing everything that I want it to do. Uh, one thing that I want to... <laughs> There's just a random dead squirrel on the roof. 
Um, I want to prevent our silly novice ranged dwarves from jumping out of the castle whenever something bad shows up. And I'm thinking of the, the simplest way to do so. And I think what we're going to do... Needs more elephant in the courtyard? Hmm. We could assign the elephant to one of our... One of our ranged dwarves. Um, I'm going to build a flow, uh, basically a ceiling um, so that people can't climb over these fortifications. I'm going to see what that does for us. Uh, we're just going to do like this. Even make it out of wood. I'm not going to. I just go straight into nope not yet okay i'll have to wait for them to finish first uh but in theory i mean are people doing stuff most people are doing stuff we're doing pretty good here and our mood is going up everyone's so happy i haven't made a single thread of clothing they just all have little closets for their bedrooms and a big old waterfall and that's all they care about grapes. Why do we have some grapes? Oh, we're out of oats. Hmm. Hey, there's some migrants. So we're starting it. 50 something. I can bring a bunch of animals, aren't you? For real? For real? I wonder if that has to do with, like, the population of our civilization? That feels, like, way low for, for how much wealth we have. But if it's determined by like, the people in our civilization, it might just be a smaller civilization. Hmm. Interesting. Well, not a whole lot to be done about it at this point, is there? We cut all our gems. Oh, we need to hunt for platinum. That's what we're doing. Um, we've had more luck upstairs than downstairs. Uh, we just need to find more, more magnetite. And I'm going to look on the same floors that we've found it so far. Uh, so that's going to be here. Here's more magnetite. This is also magnetite. And I... I guess I don't want to breach that, but... Do like this. Do like that. Yeah. That's going to be the pain of the butt here. Uh, tetrahedrite, tetrahedrite. I want to... I want to keep exploring all these areas. They're all... They're all just... wet. All just wet. Galena, Galena. Let's keep, let's keep looking. All these directions. Even come out like this way. Let's... Hi, creature. I'm gonna lay down. Hi. I love you. Sit down. <laughs> this is all, I mean, this is all a valid 
spot to be finding magnetite as well. gonna be wet. Ugh, I'm so... so happy about that. Um, but there are these other floors. I mean, we could keep... we could just go, like, all the way around. Because why not? At least this floor is... dry. Could, uh, whatever. is just right in front of the screen. Okay, that got done. Hi, beast. How about you, you know, yeah, there you go. I'm going. You got the hint, now follow through. Oh, come on. Straight across. Yep, there you go. Limestone. Let's go like this. Same thing. We'll take a minute for them to finish all that, but it's only going to take two people at a time, right? Because I can only do one of those spots at a time. Yeah, look at them all. Cool. any actual... <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna bother fixing that. I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna resist. Do that. This is all... I mean, it's magnetite. There could be stuff in here. Here's a post ban. What's this? Tetrahedrite, tetrahedrite. Mm -hmm. Jet is cool. Doesn't really help, but it's cool. Mm, it's a bunch of limestone. Hooray. We really did build our whole fortress in limestone, didn't we? And I'm not using our gold. We need to be using the gold. Um, how are we on bars? Because because those that's the ore pile. We still have a bunch of platinum bars. So I think our instrument thing should still be going. Right. Yeah, instruments are still going. Um, I'm going to say that the Evid strings are now out of gold, so the bodies get made out of platinum. Uh, and yeah, so then this is like that instead. Cool. That should be fine. I mean, that's getting done. Will you, hey, look, the, the guild hall satisfied. Cool. Leather stuff has been made. Still trying to work through our steel. Assuming that it's just taking its time. Waiting for pig iron. Pig iron is waiting for... Oh. A 
less than less than twenty. How about that? The steel needs. You just you just need five. You just need five. Okay, there we go. Do more bedrooms. Magnetite. That's a good sign. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. And some gems. actually harvesting our honey are we we're not making jugs either we should make some jugs let's do rock and a jug uh let's do that five at a time empty rock jugs and hard rock and then we are going to press honey from honeycomb one at a time as long as we have non-pressed things and a liquid container that's all i care about right and then i'm just gonna say make mead and we'll say two at a time as so long as we have like 10 honey and some storage containers. We don't have five empty food storage containers. We're making barrels, right? Empty barrels. Let's do like 1D. Hmm. Hmm, maybe it needs jugs. Maybe we'll just let it go. Hey, possessed. Cool. You've already started your construction. You took two gems, and that's it. Or even just one. Are you going to make a second large gem? That would be hilarious. Platinum in here. It's just It's just in an aquifer, a perfect green jade. Cool. Thanks. That's a second perfect gem. I can't even remember if we had another strange mood or if it's just all been perfect gems. I 
missed a couple messages. Easier way to get power down there, build a Warden Cliff Tower and get Nikola Tesla as a dwarf. I mean, yeah. Make me a Tesla Tower mod. Make me an electricity mod. That'd be fun. Keep going, even. Just keep digging. I'm going down like this. Look at all this. Oh yeah, there we go. There's some platinum. Holy cow. Oh, it's malachite. Look at that. That's a holding platinum wall. Um, I'm gonna double up on our kitchens and stills. Because I'm sure we have a lot of food stuff. Mill jobs are not going because of bags or because of lack of things empty bags not satisfied so how are we doing for cloth we have a bunch of cloth okay so let's say a wool bag yarn bag Empty bags, less than 20 even. Yeah. So that we don't use all of our yarn. But that should keep that going. Alright, this is year 176. We got here... The start of 174 is 4, 5, and 6 is 3 years, yeah. We've managed to do it in two streams. Am I going nuts? Am I... Am I going nuts? Is this, like, this is our third year, right? Look at all the tiny turkeys. We got a bunch of tiny turkeys. Splints and crutches we don't have. I guess that's fine. Needs empty food storage item. Like, there was a bunch, wasn't there? What's Aren't any barrels in here? Hey, a caravan. So why is the barrel job empty barrels? Where are you seeing empty barrels? All right, let's just do wooden barrel. Let's make like twenty of them. We have the wood. 
Uh, we're gonna request our broker here. I guess we can just go ahead and start moving our stuff in, right? Yeah, we have we've been collecting honeycombs. That's a good sign. Uh, we have yeah, we have some some evids. We'll just, we'll do that. We'll have to pick stuff out, but that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna say, Fish, meat, veggies, done. Thank you. Cool. And now we're still, yeah, still at 180. Hmm. And we need to export a bunch. We should export a bunch, shouldn't we? Can you take a bunch of instruments? I mean, they their oh what oh their weight limit is pretty high. You did just bring all the veggies, cool. I uh, want that one. Ten instruments would be the whole shebang, right? Um, yeah, there's twelve. Oh, here we go. Let's trade twenty-two. I think that would be that should be enough, right? They even toss, I'll just toss in an extra one. Just have, just have another instrument on me. Trade. Cool. So we are trading away a whole bunch of stuff, but we will have met our export agreement. No trader needed. Now we just need to keep making things. Sand is happening, steel stuff is happening, yarn bags are happening. Okay. This is still <laughs> slowly happening. Do you have a weapon? No. You have a weapon. Nope. I made you weapons. We have crossbows, right? Mm -hmm. We only have a couple of crossbows. I said make a bunch of wooden crossbows. Because that happens at a boyer, and I haven't made a boyer. Boyer. Well. Mm. In our 
Are your people keeping busy? I mean, we got some drinking, we got some fishing. We're making strings, statues, cheese. Preparing fish, making meals, smelting. Moving things. I mean, we're, we're keeping busy. Hmm. At some point, those first two migrant waves are going to be, like, the most important part. This is all Lime and I. Uh, we'll probably get another... See, like, this should, like... Give, give back. <laughs> So let's do add furniture with cut gems. Furniture with cut gems. And so they use all the gems because we got we got a lot of gems. Maybe the cutting is happening just on on its own. We have, I mean, in theory, we've made all of our steel things, so we have some steel again. So now we should be making, like, boots and shields, probably. Let's do ten of each of those. And then, yeah, I mean, look at our, our farms are all going. Our, our kitchens are <laughs> going nuts. We've got a bunch of barley. Yeah. Look at all this. Cool. Look at all our sheep! My goodness. I like embarking with the sheep. I think that works out well. I was like, what are we at for cheese? We probably have a whole bunch of cheese. We have a hundred... We have a hundred cheese. Ten of it horse cheese. But we have a hundred... We have a hundred sheep cheese. We have... A whole bunch of sheep wool cloth. We have a hundred sheep wool cloth. And we embarked with a handful of sheep. It was like... It was less than half a dozen sheep between the males and the females. Okay, bye. And, you know, two and a half years in, we are already, like, self-sustainable with our, our thread, and we're getting a whole bunch of milk and cheese out of it. So, I think that works out nicely. We got beasts fighting downstairs. Hey, some migrants! Welcome, surely not enough migrants. So we started at 64. Come on, bring me like 50. Nope. <laughs> Less than 10. Less than 10. It's gotta be our... I mean, it's gotta be our civilization, right? I wonder if 
our best fortress. I wonder if our best fortress was our best just because we were placed, like we were within our world's most populous civilization and we placed ourselves within their population center. I wonder if that was like the biggest factor. So I didn't consider that at the time, but it definitely could be. That was the only fortress where we had holdings. I think we got some pretty consistently big migrant waves. I wonder if it's just where you are in relation to your civilization. So that means if we wanted to capitalize on that for for a run like this, which isn't going to be a thing I I do. I think this is going to be our last. Oh, we never. Did we ever trade? We traded with the dwarves. We traded with the dwarves. We're fine. We're fine. But if you were going to capitalize on that, you would you would generate a new world, and you would you would have a long history, right? You would want to have a history long enough to have a really populous dwarven civilization in your world. Maybe make it a smaller world so that people are more compact. Maybe it's like they stay closer together. I don't know, maybe that part doesn't matter. Like a bigger world just ends up with more civilizations, not bigger civilizations necessarily. But you would... You generate a new world, you let it run long enough that you have a nice big dwarven civilization, you... Embark to a newer fortress as part of the largest dwarven civilization, and you do it, like, right next to where they have already built out. Like, right in the middle of their stuff. So that you, like, a whole bunch of the existing hillocks end up associated with you. Uh, like, they, they, they look to your fortress for their economic future, right, is what it says. Um, you want to do the... Yeah, I think you want to do that. I think... That was the difference between that faster fortress. Like, we're, we're doing everything way more smoothly here. This fortress is running perfectly, but we're not attracting as many people. And I have to think that that's because of some outside factors. I think our wealth isn't growing as quickly, but I mean, we're still at 200,000. There they go. Goodbye, dwarves. And your, your elephant caravan. We're at 8,000. We probably way over traded. Uh, but we're going to be over three over 30k when they leave. Should be. Hmm? Bless you. Was that not... Maybe it takes a second. There it goes. Okay. Well, we overtraded a tiny bit, but not not that much, honestly. So we've we've done that. We have traded as much as we need to trade. We still need, you know, a hundred thousand wealth, but also to double our population. We still need seventy more people. He's refined coal. How did you run out of coal? Did we... Have we... Have we used all of our coal stone? We have a bunch more we can mine. I just assumed that we... We might have run out of it. Limestone, marble, gold nuggets, silver nuggets, copper nuggets... Uh, we have oh, there's a little bit of the lignite, but not much. Okay, so we wanna we wanna dig a bit more. But there was like, where was it? Was it here? Like, look at this. Just mine this. Jeez, that's just all coal. And then we're probably. I'll be good for the day.
We made a lot of really good progress as far as a fortress goes. Okay. Yeah, let's 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 call it here for the day. I mean that I mean it's good, right? This is a this is a really solid fortress. Nothing bad has happened here. We're in we're in untamed wilds. Why did music stop? I did not tell music to stop. There we go. Might have just reached the end of the playlist again. How about that? Anyway. Um the fortress is going perfectly. Aside from the fact that we don't have as many people as I want to have right this moment. That's the only thing that's going wrong. And it's only going wrong in, like, my mind, right? It's it's only my little self-imposed challenge that that matters for. As far as, like, a dwarven fortress goes in this game, this is flawless. So... I, I think it's... I think it's down to, like, the world stuff. World civilization stuff that is that is playing a factor we even have our broker our broker's alive everything's fine it's just we're just not getting dwarves from the world map that's interesting um at the very least we're learning right uh, i've learned a lot on uh, these last handful of fortresses we've i mean from the outside it kind of looks like we did the same fortress like five times which we kind of did but I've also learned quite a bit in that process. The difference between them has been not stark. Um, like our, our our first one uh, went a little bit long. Our first one was five years, but in, all the rest of them have been right in 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 pace with each other. And the differences between them are, you know, minor. Um, so we've, yeah, we've, we've learned some bits. We've learned some bits. I've learned how to optimize a fortress of this style, of the minimal style. I think I've, I can make a minimal fortress very easily now. Um, like I could just knock one of these out uh, without without really having to, to, to plan it out now, um, which is good. That's just a skill set that I have now. Now I can just, I can just knock these out. So uh, as we want to do other things, I can just I can just make a fortress without that being a huge uh, a huge hurdle for for what we're doing, uh, which will be cool because I have I have some other little challenging things that I want to try too. Um, we'll see what our we'll see what our next we'll we'll see what the plan is for the next one. Um, we'll we'll keep with this fortress. So on Thursday we will keep with this fortress. I do want to bring this one to Metropolis to see where it actually lands, if we can actually follow through and get there. Because um, we're also still needing to produce some more wealth, right? I want to I want to make sure that we're at least producing wealth, that the population thing is the our actual linchpin. Um, so we need to keep we need to keep the keep the instruments going um, and on pace with that at the very least. But I think we're I think we're good. I think we're gonna be fine. So we'll 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 play this fortress out uh, next stream. Um, and then on Saturday, come by Saturday, we're going to do, do a new game, start a new game. I think we're going to start uh, Chance of Sanar, because I've heard good things. Um, so that sounds fun. Um, but then next week, I don't know. What do you want to see for for our next fortress expedition? Um, I have I'm kind of I have two kind of thoughts. Um, we can either keep with these kind of short ish runs where we're trying something slightly different, um, you know, to, not just strictly building a fortress. Um, and finding some new, some different things to do. I have some ideas as far as that goes. Um, or we can just kind of take a step back from that um, and build and build a proper fortress. One thing that I think is cool now that I've got this kind of minimal style down pat, now that I understand exactly how I want a fortress to work in this kind of optimized style, now we can make, now we can like go to a new embark and say, this is going to be a fancy fortress. This is going to be a pretty fortress. And the layout, like the physical schematic of the fortress is all just in my mind, right? I know what I want kind of the interactions between all the rooms to look like. I would still do the waterfall. I'd still do, you know, the sandwiched production floor kind of stuff, but we could make it look way fancier and just and function the same. 
So that's the thing we can do as well. Um, and make a, you know, we'd make the, the the top side fortifications. They would work the same way, but we could make them look way cooler. So, so that, that might be a thing we do as well. Um, and and you know, we went, we played at our capital fortress a bit uh, over on on Extra Life uh, last weekend. Not last weekend, but the weekend before. That is our capital, but we still haven't made it our mountain home. I've still never actually followed through and made a mountain home. Um, and I and I don't want to go back to Elder Ring to do so because it was kind of a mess, right? I one, one thing I kind of want to do, just in general, bucket list stuff. I want to start a mar I want to do a mountain home, and I want to start it from scratch, and I want to do it with all the knowledge that we've gained here. Um, so those are kind of the two things that I'm thinking. Um, we can start a mountain home for our civilization, make a proper a proper mountain home, uh, something that's not just a trash pit like Elder Ring. Or there's other things that we can do, like what happens if the dwarves show up and there's nothing on the wagon? What happens if there's only one dwarf? There's also some things that the DF hack stuff can do. What if you embark into the caves? That's a thing we can do. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Um, th those kinds of things I think would be fun too. Um, so yeah, um, I guess let me know what you want to, what you think, what you want to see. Um, type up in the Discord, let me know. Uh, I, yeah, I'll, I'll take requests. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, but I think as far as like, metropolis percent as a thing that we're doing uh, on stream i think this will probably be the last one for now maybe if there's a major update to the game and it kind of changes how some of it will work maybe we'll maybe we'll give it another go see how different it is um, and it might also be a thing that i do off stream i might like if if it's really coming down to like the the those first two waves i don't know if doing that like redoing that first year over and over again just hoping that you get those first two waves to be kind of maxed out I don't know if that makes a very good stream. So maybe that's something that I, if I'm interested in, I'll just do it off stream. But yeah, there's there's things we can do. And at some point, we're going to get adventure mode, right? And we're going to have all sorts of fun with that. Uh -huh. There's There's been some updates on, on what adventure mode is going to look like, and it's going to be cool. I'm so excited. Uh, that's going to be so much more stream friendly than, than in previous versions of this game. It's going to look cool. And it's gonna be it's gonna you're gonna be able to tune in and follow along and, and understand the adventure and it's gonna be very very fun i'm very excited about that but it's nowhere near coming anytime soon so you know don't hold your breath sometime next year probably um anyway today's episode was brought to you by a snow-covered forest um, why is that not working My button's not working. There. Snow-covered forest. And by you. Uh, pushing those buttons, joining the Discord, subscribing, gift and subs. Thank you, thank you for all the all the gift and subs. Very, very nice. Um, liking and, and uh, just following or whatever. Whatever those buttons are. They're probably helpful. I appreciate you clicking them. So thank you for doing that. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, come by. Oh, yeah, let's raid. Yeah, 